Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial that you guys requested me to do. So today I'm gonna be doing something god damn it, I don't know how to explain. So I'll just show you. Here's an example before doing this trick and after doing this trick. So let's take an example. You plug two controllers to a multiplayer game and that game gives you two players. But try plugging to keyboards instead of controllers. Will that give you two players? No it won't. So in this video we're gonna fix that. We're gonna plug two keyboards and that'll give us two players. Well let's begin. So first of all you gotta download this software. It's called keyboard splitter. Some random guy just recommended me this tool and it was really helpful. Thanks for the tip man. So if you go to this link in the description and you will direct it to this page. Now you can download this driver from this link and keyboard splitter from here. This one. So download both of them and I do have already downloaded it. Here it is and first of all you're gonna have to install this driver. Well it's installed and now we can extract this one. As you can see there is only one exe file, open it up and this will ask you to install some drivers. This will only pop up for the first time. So click yes to install drivers. So as you can see it's asking you to reboot the computer. So click yes and reboot it. So yes, I restarted my computer and we are good to go. Now open up this again. Alright, so this is basically what keyboard splitter looks like. This is where you choose your keyboard and this is where you choose your mouse and this is the key bindings. This has some presets and you can actually make it custom though. Just name this something like I don't know custom and save it there you go so this is the start button and I will bind enter just like that you click on that two dots and you press the button you want see enter for start just like that you can put all of them the way you like or you can just select something like this see this is actually way better than virtual controller. This is actually not what I said though. So what I'm gonna do is plug two keyboards and use them separately. So let me just plug another keyboard. Alright, I plugged in a second keyboard. Now make sure to change this to two because you have two keyboards. As you can see it already detected the second keyboard as keyboard two. Alright, so this is how we do it. So for the final test, I'm gonna use the game called Super Bunny Man for this. And I already made a custom key binding for this. Let me just import it. Alright, now all we need to do is clicking start. As you can see this is the first controller and this is the second. You can have up to 4 controllers by plugging 4 keyboards. Well now I'm gonna launch the game.
Alright, so now I'm about to use keyboard one just like this and I'm using WASD to move just like that and now I'm gonna use the second keyboard same as the keyboard one I'm gonna use WASD to move you see that the keyboards are working separately from each other you know how cool this is this makes it so easier to play games with your brothers or friends whatever so I guess that's gonna be enough for today's video so if this was helpful please leave a like and if you have any problems just comment down below I read every single comment so if you wanna see more of these make sure to subscribe and yep I'm gonna see you guys in the next video no!